You can use any image as a pattern. You can use any pattern source with the pattern stamp tool. You can find the pattern stamp tool in the tool panel. The key thing for this tutorial, aligned, make certain it's on. Open a document, then go to image menu and then down to image size and resize it. Something like 300 by 300. This document's 3000 by 3000. Then just go to edit and define pattern. You can also add effects in as well. Maybe go to filter and maybe Gaussian blur. Again, edit and define pattern. Undo that and also maybe add some color effects. Simply go to image menu, adjustments, hue and saturation. Edit and define pattern. Restore the image. Now go over to the pattern stamp tool, use blending modes of normal or multiply, etc., and set a fairly large brush. Go to the patterns and you can see the pattern there. That was the original one, 300 by 300. Simply add it. You could, of course, use the fill command or the fill layer, but I think the brush stroke is so much easier for controlling the application of the pattern design. And of course you can vary it. You can apply the brush and then you can just quickly change it. Let's just go for the blurred effect now and simply continue applying there. Or maybe change your mind and go for the color option and simply quickly add that. You can also use features of Photoshop such as select and subject. So what happens, it ends up creating a nice selection around that cat, which is great because now I can fill that cat with the cat. Now I'm going to use a blending mode of multiply. And I'm just going to fill it very quickly all across the image. And of course that darkens the, the cat. And of course what you can do, you can add it again and again and also make it very carefully done around the edges. And again, this is a great feature that you can't really do with like a fill or fill layer. I'm just adding it very, and you can see it really darkens it around the edges. And again, continue around there. I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna keep the central part. Now that looks quite a nice little antique sort of design you'd see in sort of like an old Victorian design. But also what you can do, you can go and use other blending modes. Maybe use lighten or screen. And then add it again. And then it just brings back in the cat again. And you can just put it around the, just very controlled, just subtle, just touches there. And you can always modify if you want opacity, just reduce it down, maybe the flow, just so it just is not so dramatic. And you just add it very subtly. So you can create some very interesting, sort of like three dimensional sort of cat designs with that cat on top of the original cat design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.